episode number two of Savage Lands on the Alienware Alpha I-7 machine. It was up there pretty quick, I guess. <coughs> uh, the last video, I did a review of the Alienware uh, Steam machine, and I mentioned, like I should mention in all my videos, uh, to subscribe if you like the video, <coughs> and to like it if you like the video, and I'll do more. Wow. A lot of subscriptions, a lot of likes, particularly on this video. Although my Warframe videos always get uh, more views. I, I get some that get views in the thousands. <laughs> Don't know why. Uh, in a short period of time. And then uh, this one had a lot of likes, a lot of subscriptions related to it. So I'm going to continue this series uh, for you guys. This is on a Alpha. <coughs> say Alienware Alpha. I keep calling it the Alpha because it's Savage Lands Alpha early release. So if I call it Alphaware, I mean Alienware. But today we're primarily going to be talking a little bit about the interface. Right now I'm using the um, Steam controller and the thumb pad as a mouse to move around. I'm getting a little bit better with it. But we're mainly going to talk about uh, Savage Lands. It is a survival game. And, you know, the last episode I left off, we're almost froze to death in the middle of the night. What I've done is I did explore around. I found an abandoned uh, town with lots of houses, but I opted not to move in because abandoned towns are usually bad news. So I'm trying to build a house near the abandoned town, and I'm getting the materials. I built a new fire because well, it'll freeze it up, and I'm getting a uh, much, much better grip of the game. It, it is very entertaining so far, and it. Uh, seems to be promising. Uh, in fact, after I ended the last video, before I could disconnect, I was attacked by a skeleton in the middle of the night. Found out. You don't want to prowl out in the middle of the night without a weapon. I have an overabundance of bags because I'm having an inventory issue. I can make a chest, but I need to get the ingredients. I hear something coming up. Sounds like a bomb. Yep. Let's see if I can... Up this uh, skull spiked club from a skeleton I killed. It's much better than the axe. Pick up a couple axes too. It looks like that board did not drop anything. You see, the house is not completely built yet. I need some more material for it. A lot of material. I'm running short on cloth. Cloth seems to come from skeletons, which are looking around that abandoned village, and also at night. And there's something in the middle of the night that makes a lot of noise. I don't want to know what it is yet. Well, I have a skull to pop. So my suggestion would be, when you start the game, build a fire. There's a little checklist that appears up on the upper right-hand side of the screen. Do what's on the checklist. Build a fire. Build a lean-to. It will keep you a little bit warmer. And get some weapons. Get some materials. Don't waste your cloth on a torch. Make bandages. I wasted my torch that I don't use. And build lots of sacks until you can build the chest. I would say a chest is your first priority. I took a look, it has 32 slots. That's better than three or four slots. Can rip up my clothes for cloth. Spawn point there. Some wood. Log. Sorry, I, I know better than that. And up here's where the village is. You can see uh, some of the border markings and what looks like a small tower. It's actually the top of this up there. It's very cold out here. I'm not sure if the season's going to change or if the whole game is going to be a wasteland of uh, snow all the time. Better, which I, I haven't remapped the controller yet. You, you can map it to switch through the hotbar a little bit. I just picked up a community mapping, which is good. It's just I, I would prefer to make some changes. So I, I can't get to the end one using uh, direct buttons. Let's go out 
there is a forge in this town that I can use to forge things. Lots of, I've picked up a bow up here and quite a few other uh, handy things. But as warm as it probably is, I'm not going to stay here. All dead for a reason, and the center statue is a dragon. I need the dragon. People planting crops. I don't believe you can plant in this game like you can in uh, Minecraft. Uh, I I personally like uh, the planting harvesting. It does take away from the rest of the game if there's a plot. I don't know if they're at the point of a plot yet. So let's see if I can craft something here. Missing some ingredients. I need more cloth for that. I think this would be the best resource of bandages if you can get enough cloth. Which means you either tear up your clothes or you kill uh, skeletons. <laughs> so, <coughs> killing skeletons, obviously. Well, that is the way to go, actually. It's just. I'm going to suffer wounds in the process. Notice that I'm turning fuzzy around the corners here. I'm assuming it's red. Ah, wrong button. I need to get to my bandages because I'm bleeding. So, uh, that's not a bandage. The menu doesn't pause you. I have a bandage. Uh, just can't get that mouse to move. Let's get bandage. No, actually, I used my last bandage, so maybe there's some cloth in here. Need some cloth. Ah, no, we gotta build that, so that's not gonna work. There's a bow. If I'm gonna kick off, I'm gonna pick up everything. I've not died yet in this game, so I'm not sure if you respawn with your material or if it's roguelike. Uh, we're about to find out, I have a feeling. Unless it stops. I mean, this is one heck of a wound. Must be gushing blood. Oh, and there comes a skeleton. He would have some cloth, so let me see if I can kill him and make a bandage. Oh! <laughs> he's have, he, oh, he's got cloth. Well, skull, too, which I need for the respawn, but let's get the cloth and make a bandage. This is a case where I wish I could move the controller mouse faster. You gotta move your thumb a couple times across, drop that down. So I don't know how to use it any other way. And see if I can bandage myself. Uh, no, wrong button. And exit. Ah! Uh, oh. <laughs> before I could bandage myself. Yeah. Well, you know that happens sometimes. You can't get the band-aid on and you die. We'll we'll see what happens. Uh, He's alive too, so let me respawn. Oh, well, that's convenient. On pretty much a starting point. And where I'm guessing my corpse is, or where the thing that's going to kill me next is. And I built my uh, base camp actually pretty close to, uh, I guess not this obelisk, but another obelisk. So much for using obelisks as landmarks. See if I can find it along the way. And no, and I've done no research on this game, uh, so I can't really tell you the right thing or the wrong thing to do. I, I like exploring and finding out on my own. Similar to the way Minecraft used to work, you know, figure out the formula versus going to the wiki. So I'm not going to any wikis. I'm I'm living this and dying this uh, as part of an exploration. Uh, I, I will say, in the previous uh, review, I, I was having some difficulty with the uh, Alphaware steam machine. This is the i7s running right out, which is one of the best ones from uh, Alf Alienware. Alphaware again. Alienware, uh, which is really Dell. <coughs> uh, 
I'm still getting pop-ins. That, that might be because of the, the software itself. Uh, the game's a little more responsive. This, this game really is not a Steam OS. You have to remap you know, the uh, <coughs> keyboard to the mouse because they haven't optimized it themselves. That's not difficult at all. It's very easy to remap. It's, it's more difficult to use the mouse with your right thumb because you have such a small area to drag. You can increase the sensitivity, but, well, then I'm spinning around in circles. So <clears throat> what happens is you have to move your thumb across and across without lifting it up. Otherwise, you start over. Or if you can keep that mouse point in the same place, then you can get across it. That's why, that's why it looks like I'm sort of in mouse training here as I move things across. And I am using the left trigger right now to grab. <clears throat> you can also use the A on the uh, control pad to uh, select as well, but the trigger seems pretty uh, natural to me, so I went ahead and did change that. I still need a source of hiding material, <laughs> or story material, because these backpacks eventually might have, you know, something's coming up on me here. So. See what that is. Achievement. I'm sure this will be handy for something. Yeah, you know, if I were a skeleton, I'd be carrying stones too. No, he's got no stones. Let's go back to me. The bow that I have no arrows for, but I actually can craft the arrows. I do have a lot of flint. Arrows don't seem to be hard. Good arrows are difficult to make, but it looks like bad arrows are fairly easy <laughs> to make in this game. And the bow was just luck. I found it. Same with the other weapon, but I'm going to have to start planning on crafting some new weapons. I need my inventory space right now. I'd like to pick up a few more things. Oh, I still have a house to build. And here's another. <laughs> Just another reason not to live in this uh, Full of skeletons. He didn't have any drop. There's, looks like a wolf. Campfire. I could use the meat. Come back here, Mr. Goat. I, yeah, I know goats can. He's got no blue dot, anyhow. Goats can sound. Uh, <laughs> human, but that was a distinct. Yeah. I was over there. There's a, there's a waver or a dragon statue. But I'm just not fond of this. This town doesn't have my name on it. It does now as a grave marker, but that's about it. So once you once you get in the hang of using the Steam controller with it, uh, I guess it requires well. But that's that's really all we're doing here is replacing the keyboard. There's there's no optimizing that the company's done for. It's it's basically a Linux version. Of that. I think they did a quick port to fit the development kit of the Steam machine for Valve and ported it over, which is fine. It, it's working you know quite well. The graphics, I can't tell, are better or worse than on the PC because it's an alpha and I've not tried it on the PC, to be quite honest. Again, what I'm trying to use uh, the Alienware alpha as is what Steam or Valve intended it to be, and that is a console, a PC console that runs Linux. I'm certainly learning how to craft out. 
And while I'm crafting, I hear something with asthma approaching from my left. And like any good adventurer, I'm going to continue crafting. Because he's not here yet. He might leave. It could be the ghost of the goat. I'm not sure. And wow. I uh, was unfortunately uh, accosted by the world's most hideous monster. <laughs> Respawned. And ended up... Uh, well, I, I, I caught and just started from here again. Also, I, I realized I was going through a lot of menus and I was doing uh, a lot of house building. So I went and picked up uh, my stuff and, and started over because it was just too much effort. So now it's uh, nightfall is, is coming because it took me that long to get everything uh, built. And I'm trying to collect some more wood. I'd really like to build a chest, to be quite honest. So. deer out there. Notice I have bandages now. I want lots of bandages. Bandages are important. And I guess an important factor here is if you're crafting and you hear something really nasty coming from your left, stop crafting. Uh, that's just a good rule of thumb. I'm not, I'm not going to reveal what it is it's worth the surprise honestly you need to uh you need to experience yourself if you are crafting to hear the noise and you really want to be surprised well let it come up and you will certainly uh will get a world of surprise uh over here looks like there might be some more food to be had i'll grab this uh, i can't pick it up so i'm going back here I'm, going to, I'm trying to do here is do a uh, probably a 30 minute uh, let's play per episode. I try and keep down the time. I realize everyone doesn't watch an hour long video. As you see, I, I went ahead and built the house because collecting logs, bring him to the house, collecting logs, bring him to the house, collecting logs, bring him to the house, when you can only carry a few at a time because of your inventory, just isn't that great. Now, what would be better is a chest in that corner. I have dropped some stuff off in here. The, sorry, the wooden shack is what it's called. Uh, it does seem to uh, help warm you up. Although it comes with the torch. I'm not sure if that's an eternal torch or if that torch is going to fade at some point. I'm sure the torch will fade. So I've got two fires. Fires are necessary in this climate. Did I mention weather change? It would be nice if it did. That, that really, I, I like the bleak days of December. But uh, there's only so much uh, frost and uh, Dickens and uh, Shakespeare I can endure in one game. So maybe we could have some warm spring days like uh, Shirley Jackson's The Lottery where we all land to get killed and there is something outside the house making a horrible noise. The shack. I'm sorry, there's a mountain goat that killed one of them. Uh, Sounds like my fire went out. Just <laughs> before I restarted the video, I started the fire and set myself on fire. Oh, don't look at any of these things. No, no, don't look at them. No, uh, just, well, be surprised. Yeah. Let's get a good look at that one. And something's still inside the house. I don't know. You know, that sounds a lot like something being burned alive because there's like, fire sound and then there's a groan of an animal. So what I should do is go out and see what it is. What I know will happen is that it will kill me through some means that I'm going to leave a mystery. Compass. I want a compass. I want more bandages. But I want, more importantly, a chest. I think that's the priority so you can haul more. And when it's night, maybe stay in while that thing's still making noise. Great, great mood, though. I, I've got a very strong mood because you can hear the creatures out there that you can't take on, period. Don't even look at them. You know, and I realize now I, I stopped the video because I was looking through 
menus, and now I'm looking through more menus. I, but these are important menus. This is a good view of the game. You see coal stone. And, uh, pretty handy. And obviously, I haven't unlocked amber yet because I need to find it. As that thing's getting closer, I'm just going to keep reading my book and ignoring it. But maybe in a Poe fashion. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over an ancient volume of forgotten lore, there came a growling, a horrendous snarling from outside my chamber door. Just the wind, and nothing more. We'll leave it there, because I'm sure you don't want me rewriting all of The Raven uh, for you. If you haven't read The Raven, uh, it's approaching December. You should read it. Sounds like a Halloween book, but, you know, it, it's really pretty. And the bleak days of December, as dying embers rot their ghost upon the floor. Enough of that. This is what I want. I want a pine strong box. Well, you know, I don't want a pine box with whatever's out there right now. But I, uh, oh, you know, I need wood. Duh! I need logs. I need logs. There's a log. I can't pick it up. There's something walking on the other side of that wall. Yep, let's go back to the menu. Y you know, you're probably dying to see what it is. My seeing it is certainly going to kill me. I guess I'm dying not to see what it is. But, you know... Should I? Should I open the door? Oh. It doesn't sound like that. Let's go pay it a visit. Wood on the fire there. Ah, log on the fire. Log on the fire. Call it mine though. For many years I couldn't call my shack.
Don't worry about the outbreak. <laughs> We're just collecting the stones right now. This is more of mini madness. Mania. I hate to leave you in alert, so if, if you tuned out to tune in toward the end of the video to avoid me seeing the surprise, I'm going to give you a spoiler alert for what we used to be hanging out there. It, it didn't show up, so it was a deer. Again, if you like the, the video, remember to subscribe. You can catch me with Leo Pearson. Uh, on Twitter, I'm nice and quick pretty much everywhere. Uh, come back here for regular uh, videos. We'll be continuing uh, this video series called The Menu Hunt and How to Make the Pine Box. So anyhow. <laughs> If you'd like to see more videos, do do some of this, do some likes, or if there's another area you want to see videos, do some likes, tell your friends, bring everyone here, and that's really about it. I don't think you want to see any, any more menus. I have a lot of crafting to do. I'll try and handle that outside the game in the future. So, thanks for watching, and I will, uh, I guess, catch you later. Now that I can make it. What else would I like? I could use a backpack. Well, I don't know. Uh, enough of that. So, thanks for watching, and I will uh, catch you later. This is nice and good. Signing out.